Hello and welcome to our Detecting Beaconing Backdoors video for Active Countermeasures AI Hunter. In this video, we're going to talk about a backdoor that we wrote as a proof of concept called VS Agent that is traditionally very difficult to detect for your standard intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems. Now, why is it difficult to detect with a standard intrusion detection and intrusion prevention system? Well, the reason why is because it actually hides in plain sight. It's all clear text HTTP, and we put all of our backdoor command and control traffic into a parameter that's called underscore underscore view state. Now the underscore underscore view state is used for web servers to keep track of sessions with users. And by that, it has to be randomized. And it's also randomized in length. So when you're looking at a variable that is randomized in length and also randomized with the actual data that is put into it, it makes it exceedingly difficult, if not impossible, to write a generic signature for an intrusion detection or intrusion prevention system to detect this back door. And you can see it right here, where it says e, uh, v, underscore underscore view state, we have EYJJB21. Now, VS Agent is a backdoor that we wrote to articulate this problem for our students in classes like SANS 504. Now, with this backdoor, whenever we set up and run it, it runs every 10 seconds. So it's not like establishing a connection and then keeping that connection up so you can basically identify it with just looking at long established connections. It fires once every 10 seconds with randomized data, and it also has randomized size. So yeah, detecting this backdoor, really, really hard to do. So how would someone go about detecting this backdoor? Well, in AI Hunter, we can actually detect this fairly easily. Let me go back home and load the data set. Whenever you first get into AI Hunter, you click the little gear in the upper right hand corner and it allows you to load the data sets that are interesting to you. Now these are just data sets that we've named with highly descriptive names. Whenever you're importing the data with AI Hunter, it's actually gonna have dates with it for your ingest that's coming from Rita. But I'm going to select VS Agent, close that out, and then I'm going to select Beacons because that's what we're actually showing here. Now a couple of things should jump out at you very, very quickly whenever we're detecting VS Agent. First, its score is almost perfect when we're looking at time step interval. It has a very equal dispersion, very equal skew, the duration is very consistent, and the data size is also very consistent. Now there's some visual cues that'll help draw your attention to this back door and should basically say something is very wrong. First, look at the histogram across the bottom. If you notice, the histogram across the bottom shows us connection count. And here you can see that we have 300, 350 connections. And then we have it broken down by hour. And you can look at the time is very, very, very flat. That means there's a very consistent number of connections by every hour. You can actually change the fidelity of this to every 30 minutes. The histogram also stays very, very, very flat. We can go even further down to 15 minutes and once again you can see that the data histogram is showing us that there's a very very strong beacon with interval with this particular back door which is indicative of VS agent. Also if you look up here into this quadrant over here this is our connection count interval as far as the time frame and it says every 10 seconds is when most of the beacons occur. In fact it says that we have almost eight thousand connections that were at 10 second intervals, creating a very, very strong heartbeat and making it very easy for us to detect something with VS Agent using this frequency analysis with AI Hunter. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.